Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here, FOMC Wednesday. Not expecting a whole lot from uh, the FOMC tonight, but um, we got that on the calendar here. Let's have a look and see what happened overnight. And then what's going to happen today? Equities. Uh, Pretty big failure yesterday. Greenstone Doji sort of puts this 2620 in play. The knee jerk here is to sell, um, sell anywhere here, uh, with the expectation of the big failure yesterday and this thing to go down. But in this kind of market, I would not be surprised if um, we take another visit towards the highs just that kind of market so it's not super straightforward so if you do sell here one of the reasons it's tough right you gotta leave a stop above 50 and so you might do that if you think there's like a 90 percent chance that this is correct um, it's far from clear to me that that's that's what we're looking at so be patient We'll get a chance uh, to get short, tactically short, um, and also the trend book. We kind of botched it yesterday, you know. We saw you saw that we sold 98s, we stopped at 12, and then we were offering up at 70, and that's a botch. Um, be patient; things will come together. It's, it's my advice on on stocks uh, right now. Let's look at gold. All the longs through 1700 are now punched out down to 1670. Gold is very hard to trade, right? You got to have a smaller position and much wider parameters. No reason gold can't go down to 1600 before it resumes its uptrend again. So be careful with gold. Uh, tactical book likes gold. The trend book despises gold. Dollar Swiss, we had our turn bar yesterday. Uh, this I do like the fade. Um, we sold 19s overnight just to sort of refresh uh, the short position. Because um, we'll play this tactically short. And of course, uh, the trend book is short dollars. Uh, Trump said something idiotic overnight about the dollar strong, the euro's worth peanuts. Uh, got a little pop there, but I mean, means means nothing. Uh, this is a pretty steady, solid uh, bearish bar here. You can add back, you could add through 84, you could sell between 10 and 40. If you look at the sort of the, the jump highs were at 40 yesterday so we broke 40 so we broke uh, 44 down to 24 back to 40 down to 20 back to 40 so we do think this 40 area 40 50 should hold in dollar Swiss again we like being short dollars Dollars are, we talked about trying to buy some at 18. If you were, um, if you were jumping the gun there, you may, you may have taken a minute away. Um, now we're at 30. Good chance this 08 breaks, and we do see some like kerfuffle down to figure, 90 figure. Good place to probably buy some dollars against South African Rand, um, which is country that's pretty fucked. Dollar yen, not really sure what to do with this. You know, two sides to this coin. The risk off side, you kind of want to own yen. Uh, the short dollar side, you kind of want to be short dollars. But for whatever reason, this sucker, she doesn't want to go down. Um, so price is kind of stubbornly bid so we're just leaving it alone 
no real clue on what's happening in dollar yen could be gpif on the bid could be a whole lot of things we, we do, don't really understand overnight in the media they were saying japanese economy is going to contract 25 uh, percent that also obviously isn't that great uh, to put it mildly for japan so who knows just leaving it alone I'll bring up sterling yen, not because we like to trade it, but this level is very important, 132.50. Keep an eye on it. Um, it's far away now, but 132.50 is very important. Aussie yen printed a really sexy high up there, 67.70. 90 points away, so not super in play. But it dovetails with the Aussie print as well, up at 09. So you have all of these highs at 62.10. And you have all of these highs at 67.70. There'll be money to be made the day both of those two trade. So put it in your book. Get ready for it. It's not really, not really going to happen today, I don't think. Um, but uh, keep an eye on it. I thought CAD down to 139.46 yesterday, I mean, dollar cat's tough, we're sellers today up at 80, um, that's the plan in dollar cat today, but as you can see, the price action here, it's 50 given, 90 paid, 50 given, 90 paid, kind of reminds me of gold a little bit, crack addict. Um, bonds turned, don't chase, the Fed is still buying this. We had some very, very interesting research uh, presented to us yesterday about the ultra-long uh, and the likelihood that that, that shit's going to fall out of bed. That will bleed into the entire uh, sort of long end of the curve, steepen things up a bit. Don't chase this. Um, core short if you can. We're still watching. Got this Fed uh, buying. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Same stuff uh, with Boons. Boons, you just core short. But don't chase, right? You want to sell high ones. Um, there's a big moment coming um, in Boons. Pull up the yield chart, which again is how you trade. If you want to trade uh, fixed income, technically you have to use the yield, not the price. If you don't know what that means, then don't trade this shit. Just leave it alone. But um, most of you know what that means. 15 basis points minus 15 is like the bingo number in Boons, and we're we're, we're closer to that than people think. At now back at minus 36. Um, you can push your chips in through minus 15. And if we do coronavirus bonds in Europe, the value of boons will be diminished. The value of boons as the sort of safe haven play in the fixed income space in Europe will be diminished. Um, so that could be the trigger. That could be the story. We're watching this very, very closely. Um, and we will take a... Uh, We'll take a pretty big swing uh, as balloons get through minus 15 and head towards head towards zero yield. Crude getting sold. No one trusts Russia. No one trusts Saudi Arabia. No one trusts America. No one trusts anyone. Um, plus demand is screwed. We don't have a dog in this fight. We didn't get paid on high ones. We didn't buy on the news low ones. Um, 25 and a quarter. Not much to do with this. Didn't been down to 24.16. Yesterday we got down to 23.50. That's a stinger for a lot of guys. You know, a lot of guys are long this shit. Um, we just wait now. Cancel all of your offers up at 30 bucks. Um, 
We're just waiting on news with crude. Euro Norway, we had bids at 02, got down to 04 yesterday. That was kind of annoying. This 111 is a good pivot. And of course, Dollar Norway is our uh, favorite horse as short dollars. Um, just screwing around. We printed a low of 12. If you did buy, you want to recycle. Recycle up between 40 and 50 uh, in your Dollar Norway shorts. I've said enough. As you can see, the tactical book doesn't have a lot on, uh, not a lot to sink its teeth into. We will be um, looking to sell this dollar Swiss on little bounces. But it looks like it's going to be a wait and see open. Um, and so patience is the strategy for the first few hours of the day today. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.